So a third is a square root that cannot be simplified down to a whole number. So, for example, if you just start off by writing out potential thirds, you might start with the square root of 1, but square root of 1 is just 1, so root 1 is not a third. Uh, root 2, okay, well, root 2 cannot be simplified down, okay? So that means that root 2 is a third. Okay, so that one is, but that one would not be. Root 3 is also one that we can't break down any further. Okay, so we can't write that any other way, so that's definitely a third. Uh, root 4, well, we know that's just 2. Square root 4 is 2, so root 4 is not a third. Okay, so you can s quite easily build up a list of numbers that we believe uh, well, that are thirds, okay, so root 5 would be the next one, root 6 would be the one after. So any number under the square root sign, um, if it is a square number, then obviously root of that will, be, will give us a whole number, okay, so that would not be a third, but anything else will be. So let's say I eventually uh, get to uh, something like root 8, for example. Okay? And we start to have a look at root 8, and we think, well, I, ca I definitely can't um, write that as a whole number, um, because 8's not a square number. But I can use my indices knowledge in order to simplify it. Because remember that um, root 8, the square root of 8, is just 8 to the power of a half. Okay? And 8, well, you could rewrite that as, say, 4 times 2. So that's 4 times 2 to the half. Okay? The 4 times 2 is the 8, so that makes sense. We should be able to do that. Now, when we've got two things multiplied together in a bracket like that, to the power of a half, then we can have 4 to the half times 2 to the half. Okay, that's a perfectly valid move. And then, well, 4 to the half, well, that's square root of 4, isn't it? And that's square root of 2. So we've got the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And square root of 4 is just 2. So we could write this as two lots of root 2. So I've gone through this quite long and arduous process to get from root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. And it's all coming down to using our indices knowledge. Okay. That's what's working in the background to allow you to go from this step to this step, okay? That's really what we want to be able to do. Now, why did I choose 4 times 2? Why didn't I just choose to write it as 1 times 8, for example? I mean, that wouldn't really have changed much in this case, but there is definitely an air of choice in the numbers that I'm choosing here to split the 8 up into 2, okay? So let's look at another example. Let's say I worked with um, root 12 this time. So clearly what we're seeing here is that we should be able to split the third up into two multiplying thirds. Well, one third to be perfectly consistent, one third and one that isn't a third. Uh, but we'll say it's two square roots anyway. So root 12. Now, I could write that as uh, root 6 times root 2, for example, okay? To follow that same pattern of logic through, that means I can write root 12 as root 6 times root 2. 
but there's no real point in doing that because neither of these two can I simplify down okay, any further. And the reason why I can't simplify them down is because neither of them are square numbers. As we were looking for square numbers when we identified thirds up there, we're looking for square numbers here. So it is important that you know your square numbers when simplifying a third. So I don't want 6 and 2. I want to know, are there any square numbers that go into 12? Yes, there is. 4, OK? So if I rewrite this as 4, and that one as 3, 4 threes are 12, then I have square root of 4 is 2, root 3. So t root 12 is 2 root 3. So you can simplify a third by rewriting it as a multiple of another, a more a simpler third, if you will. Okay. So what you need to remember here is that if you have the square root of a b, okay, then you can break that up into the multiple, the product of root a and root b. Okay, so you are perfectly liberty to use this rule in order to simplify thirds. Okay, and I will be using this in the next video to show you more examples of simplifying thirds.